Hi everyone, welcome to STEAM PCB Academy. My name is Aviral. In today's video, we are going to talk about what are modes in a coupled transmission line, some application of modes, and waveform patterns of differential and common signals. Then we will quickly go through a couple of equations to estimate differential and common impedances, even and odd mode impedances along with their voltage components. So let's get started. We will start with very first question, what are modes in coupled signals? To understand it better, we will see three cases of differential pairs, where we will change input of coupled line and try to understand the effect on signal received. Let's see the first case, here we have two signal lines, let's say signal 1 and signal 2. Signal 1 has voltage level 0 to 1 traveling down the transmission line and signal 2 stays at 0 volt. Now as soon as signal starts traveling, there will be crosstalk because of voltage change. And due to that, we will see this type of response at T1 time. At T2 time, it will be more steep and we will see more voltage transfer between signals. And at T3 and T4, the crosstalk will increase. Now this is happening because of far end crosstalk and near end crosstalk. If you wanted to understand this concept, I have already created a video on this. You can click on I button and watch it. But at this stage, this point is not important. In case 1, as we have excited on signal line and 0 volt constant at second coupled transmission line, we have observed whatever the signal we have sent on SIG1 or line 1, it is not equal to the signal received at the receiver side. In the next step, I am going to discuss two very special cases and those will define these modes. So let's see those. Case 2 is when we apply same voltages on both edge coupled transmission line at the same time, let's say it's signal 1 and signal 2 and voltage applied V1 and V2. So in this case, V1 should be equal to V2. Since signal are traveling together, so there will be no change in voltages or current with respect to each other. If we will probe at the both input and at the receiver side, we will observe after T time delay, receiver's voltage should be equal to V1 and V2. This is a special case, we will talk about it more later in this video. Let's move to another case. Now let's talk about another case where we are sending 0 volt to 1 volt on first line and 0 volt to minus 1 volt on second line. And the condition is same, line 1 and line 2 are edge coupled. So as signal propagate down the transmission line, both signals will generate noise on each other but opposite in polarity. So you can say the resultant noise at the receiver side will be negligible and the voltage pattern will be undistorted. So now what will be net voltage we'll see at the other side of coupled transmission line and that will be 1 volt minus minus 1 volt and net voltage will be 2 volt as you can see in the figure. So this is another special case that we're going to refer to define modes. For these two special cases, case 2 and case 3, the voltage pattern will get at the output will be undistorted. And we call these special state of signals mode of pairs. When a differential pair is excited into one of the two modes, either case 2 or case 3, signal follows special properties and remains undistorted. So as we have already seen, when we drive same voltage on both lines, we call it even mode. And when we drive opposite voltage on both transmission lines, we call it odd mode. As we have already discussed, odd and even mode are special case which propagate signals undistorted on the line. For example, as we have seen in case of differential signal and impedance tutorial, impedance a signal sees depends on coupling of adjacent trace and voltage pattern on the other line as well. Now using odd and even mode terminologies, we can refer to these impedances. 
For example, we can refer uh, impedance of one line as odd mode impedance if signal follows odd mode states. Similarly, if signal follows even mode states, we call impedance of one signal line even mode impedance. Now things will become more complicated when the geometry of edge coupled transmission lines are not identical. So that will be an advanced case, we'll talk about it in later videos. Now in the next step, I'm going to talk about how to estimate even and odd mode impedances. So as we have already talked about differential signals before, we have seen that differential impedance is series combination of impedances of each line with respect to return path. So as you can see in the diagram, here Z equivalent is equal to Z differential and where Z differential is two times Z odd. Z differential is differential impedance and Z odd is characteristic impedance of one line when pair is driven in odd mode. And from there we can define Z odd is half of Z differential. Next we will see what is common and even mode impedance. So as we all know the common signal is average voltage between signal lines and when a common signal drives a edge coupled pair we call it even mode state. And the characteristic impedance of one line when pair is even mode driven we call it even mode impedance. As you can see in the diagram here Z equivalent is Z even parallel to Z even where Z even is characteristic impedance of one line. And when we'll further solve it we'll find out Z even is two times of Z common. So we can use this relation to find out the even impedance or the even mode impedance of common signals. Now let's take a quick example if we have 250 ohm edge coupled transmission line. In first case if they are driven by even states then Z even will be 50 ohm and Z common will be 25 ohm. But if they are driven by odd states then Z odd will be 50 ohm and Z differential will be 100 ohm. All right. So it is that easy to find out even and odd mode impedances. Now at last we'll see how to find out V common and V differential. So V common is average of voltages on edge coupled transmission line and V differential is the differential voltages. So let's say we have a coupled transmission line which has V1 and V2 voltages on each line then V common will be 1 by 2 summation of V1 and V2 and V differential is V1 minus V2. So that's it for this video. I hope you got the concept of even and odd modes. See you in the next video.